All right, time to do an update on the BMS board for the headway batteries. Remember on the last uh, video that I made, I tested this and the, uh, the little fuses here were starting to melt, right? So they couldn't handle uh, 200 amps. But now we have redesigned this uh, PCB now and we have uh, a 250 amp fuse here that hopefully it's gonna work a lot better. Okay, so we're also going to change the, the bus bar uh, plates. These are version, oh man, this are version two and then these are version 2.1, I think. This is another, what we did is we took off all of those vias that weren't there because they really didn't add any current carrying capability, right? So they just added complexity to the the build time and so uh but they didn't add anything to the current uh carrying capability so we just got rid of that and so here's a new one it doesn't have that everything else is the same oh also the other thing is these little notches here and then the more clearly marked uh, c3 and then on the bottom plate the C4 and then C5, and those are now going to match with the uh, the BMS uh, plate here. So now you're gonna have to connect a cable from here to there, from here to there, and then that one is going to go right onto this one right here, right? So let's change those. All right, there they are. These are the new plates. Now we just gotta populate the new BMS board uh because uh well i don't have more of these and this is a lot of money to just leave there so i'm just gonna take these off put them here put the new um uh, fuse in there and then we'll test it out all right so we're back now this is version 1.2 and uh as you can see here uh now there's 1.3 so since that last since the last video i populated this and i didn't like how the wires especially these big wires had to route and go into this one section this was kind of off center here then i figured i could move it more in here but then that still caused some problems in the routing of this and so i just didn't like it and so i discarded re it had some mistakes anyways like these needed to be fully exposed because that's where all the current is gonna go be going through, right? 200 amps through there. And so it needed to be more of that needed to be exposed. So I redesigned the entire board into this. And now this is version, and I labeled it so it's easier to see. And I added an extra two little holes in here. So now is, uh, you see there's our exposed and should be able to carry that current in there. I also marked where to buy the fuse so that when you get this board there, now you know where to order that fuse. Um, also added the, where to order the BMSs here. And I added two, an extra uh, thing here, right? To mount it, uh, the terminal, right? Um, Cause each one of those is like 180, but if you're gonna be pushing more than that, uh, then at least two, so it'll give you an opportunity to put two. So that's what the new version looks like. Oh, also this one had another mistake there where that trace didn't connect there. So I had a couple of mistakes. And so since I was gonna have to change them, might as well, why not redesign them? So now here it is finally populated, right? And this is what it looks like now. So what I had to do to keep it symmetrical is we have to make one of these BMSs be flipped upside down. And that's what you're doing. See, here's the letters, here's the thing, but now it's symmetrical, you know? Now here's the cable. Now this gets just connect here. I added these two extra holes in here just in case we didn't, or I didn't know if these angles were gonna be too sharp or, you know, so I just added those in there. You could uh, uh, connect them in here and they, the wires look better. There's like less sharp of a turn in there, but then it requires extra hardware. So now you require three bolts to go in here instead of just the one. So 
you can build it that way or you can build it this way. I don't know if I'll remove those. We'll probably keep them there on the production versions of that. Other than that, then it becomes really simple. This is the least amount of hardware that it requires to install this because the bolt that's gonna go through here is gonna connect that on there. Um, oh yeah, and actually that doesn't go anywhere. That's just a pad. So that's gonna connect this cable to the bottom and then this one in there, right? So those two uh, bolts are required to put that in there and then these two here, right? So let's let's do that now. Let's let's mount this to the battery uh, and see how easy it is. All right, so negative and then positive and then on this one, it's marked here, negative and then positive over here. So I probably need to put another one here, another one there, so it's just that much clearer. Also, these little notches with the C2, uh, C2, C3, and C4 are matching here, and then C3's here, right? So, I'm gonna put it in there. Okay, there should be no sparks if everything's done correctly. So, then the screws should just go in here and then go through that ring terminal there. And then this one goes to this ring terminal. Okay. And then these just go through the holes. And then we tighten those. There we go. The last thing to do is going to be to connect C4 to C4, C3 to C3, and C2 to C2. Now, I wish we didn't have to do that, and I'm working on something for the future, but still maybe like putting like a little connector there but it still is gonna require you to i don't know until we can find another a connector then for right now we just still have to solder those in there and here we go this is what the battery looks like fully assembled so here are the wires that we uh solder in there it's just two long ones short one right and one little shorter so i was gonna show you a load test on this right but you know, these are 100, so 200 amps. Uh, we've already did the load test on these PCBs at 500 amps. This is what it looks like at 500 amps. So the pathways are very short. Here's the negative into this board and then the, the positive into, into it and then the positive out. So you have less than an inch going in there. Same thing in here. The negative on from the battery runs through this cable and then it exits right here. It dumps right into the fuse and then uh from the fuse less than an inch to the actual terminals here so the pathways are very short uh 200 amps no problem so instead of showing you the load test there because we know what it's gonna look like i'd rather show you how you can possibly um package this battery right because right now it's naked all this stuff's exposed so if you set this in a metallic surface <laughs> it's gonna be fireworks because you'd short it out but let me show you how I plan to finish this battery. So this is a box that you can get on AliExpress. I ordered it and the top goes on here and you're supposed to kind of glue it. Uh, it's got this uh, groove in here and then that edge right there. And so if you put some uh, silicon or some kind of adhesive in there, then you can glue it in there. But the cool thing is it's got its own battery capacity and voltage. Now, the question is, will this do, well, this is 12 volts, yeah, so it, no problem. It's made for that, right? Um, here is the little cable, and then here are the terminals. So now, the question is, will it fit? Because I haven't tried this in a long time. I dropped it in there, so there we go. There's plenty of room. I mean, it fits. There's not that much. I think you have like, yeah, maybe you have like a quarter inch on the uh, on the inside. So we'd have to put something in there, some kind of foam or something. And then you'll need some cables going from these. Um, oh, look at that. And I even, I even put it the right way. Here's the negative, negative. So you'll need a cable to go from this to this one. And then, uh, the same thing there. So anyways, that is what my 12 volt battery is gonna look like. 
This is gonna be a small battery. It's eight cells times eight amp hours, so it's 64 amp hours, uh, 12 volts, but it will be able to do 200 amps. Now, I know this battery looks like a regular car battery, but at 200 amps, this battery will probably not be able to start a traditional car, right? You probably think you need more amps than that. So these BMSs will tr get triggered on a large surge, probably past like two, 300 amps, these will shut down, right? So I will, I am gonna make another PCB uh, board for a BMS, because I realized that the, the whole reason for you guys wanting these batteries is because they can put out a lot of amperage. And so some of you might wanna do that to like a start a car, for example, right? And so I did find some uh, BMSs here that have the ability to start a car, right? This one right here will do 200 amps, uh, right? But also uh, can do surges of like a thousand amps, right? So, so there, when you click on that key to start a vehicle, for example, then the BMS will not turn off. So it's, it's almost gonna have a straight connection into the battery. So whatever the batteries are able to do that for a split second while your engine's starting, then this is gonna be able to do it, right? And then after a few seconds, then it'll be, uh, it'll be the 200 amps, right? Uh, continuous, it'll be 200 amps. That's what this thing can, can withstand. And then, but searches, it has the ability to do larger searches. And so it's, I'm gonna make a board with this one in there and it's gonna be smaller because look at that, right? And it's gonna have uh, connections. It might be cheaper actually, because this is a single unit, it's supposed to two units. Uh, and the board's gonna be smaller. I don't, I won't have to be like this big or whatever. And so you'll have much more room to work in there. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you if your application requires the full 500 amps, for example, that this battery can put out, or if it requires large surges like to start a car, then uh, this might be the better option for you. And I will also make a different version of this board that will just fit right on top of here, just like this one did, uh, but we'll have this one right here, right? So there we go. Stay tuned for that. By the way, all, I'm gonna put this uh i'm gonna put this on i'm gonna upload the file for this uh to pcbway.com is to pcbway.com the, they're the sponsor of this video and you'll be able to go and download the file or print the file uh and order the pcbs so that you can make your own right and then you can order all the stuff put the links to it where you can order all the parts you know the the fuses, the terminals, all the parts, all the components that it takes to make this thing, uh, as well as I'm gonna link the for the previous versions, which is the bus bars, right? And so also eventually, once we get some of these inside in here, then we'll be able to sell this completely assembled so that you can just, so, you know, so you can just install it onto your battery. Uh, so stay tuned for the other version if you need it or if you wanna build this one, just click on the links below. You'll be able to get all the parts and then you can build your own. All right, I wanna thank you for watching this video and I wanna thank uh, PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Check the link below so you can order your own boards and you can build this uh, battery project here, right? All right, thank you. See you guys on the next video, bye.